Uh, welcome back for the finals. I am against what I believe is a Nim Death Mantle deck. <laughs> That's basically been the only car I've seen from him uh, because I had to restart Modo after the second round and didn't get a chance to see any more of his games. Uh, so I only I've only seen a little bit of uh, one of his games so far, and he has some fumes bitters and Nim Death Mantle, which uh, took apart his opponent's all nerd uh, draw. I am going to decline to play my own fumes bitter at the moment. Um, I quite often play it just to get some damage in but uh, I'm convinced I am not actually going to be able to get any damage in uh, whatsoever uh, well not that I couldn't get in with Fume Spitter it's more to do with the fact that it would be irrelevant which it usually is with a poison deck anyway but uh, I also am aware that he is able to kill my Fume Spitter before it kills anything useful of him his so it's uh, staying in hand just now for the surprise uh, value. Uh, I didn't want to see that. That makes it a little bit uh, more awkward. That's not so bad. Uh, <laughs> although, again, there's more evidence of him being the uh, Nin Death Mantle deck. I am going to clasp that guy. And I'm gonna think about whether I wanna also fume spirit to death. <laughs> if I just swing, he can maybe block and play a different guy. Um, it would also I don't I'm not really that much afraid of him like recurring that guy with mantle. Uh, getting to life isn't the end of the world. I would quite like to get some poison on him. Uh, but if he blocks, that's fine. I can always shrink his next guy and probably get in just as well. I, I'd much rather keep Fume Spitter still. In case, say, next turn he makes his own fume spitter, and then I really want to get that out of the way before he can start recurring it with the death mantle. Okay, see, because um, yeah, he's he's attacking me for one. That's that's pretty relevant. I don't really care. He could have a skin render. That'd be awful. Oh, a necrotic ooze. That's not really what I wanted to see. No, uh, I have some options here. I can swing in if he blocks. Perhaps I can fume spitter his necrotic ooze to death immediately, or I can play cis bearer, or I can not attack at all and play cis bearer also. I think I want to attack because even though my guy will probably get eaten by the ooze, if I then place this bearer and he just sits back and never taps any mana, I can just sit and proliferate him to death. I'm not actually forced to add more counters to his guys with my Contagion Clasp. Assuming, of course, I, I draw a fourth land to actually use it. So, you know, I can just sit there, end of turn, proliferating, not really bothering about uh, getting stuck in. 
And if he ever taps out, then I can just kill his team, or at least taps below four mana. I'm in no rush. Uh, he's not putting me on a clock. That's really significant. I'm not really afraid of the 18 turn Kemba Skyguard beatdown. And of course, I have the Bellowing Slygorm if I uh, wish. And that can get Suspira in also. Yeah, there's absolutely no reason to kill um, his guys right now because as they both are, they're no threat. Sure, I could kill both and he can only get one back, but then he's got a pretty big guy uh, that can eat my sis bearer. And possibly start hitting me back. Necrotic Goose is always variable in quality. It's a 4-3 which is already good by itself, but can every so often just become absurd uh, with various abilities. Like if he draws his own fume spitter, sacrifices it, sacrifices his uh, ooze, that's uh, <laughs> that's um, pretty hard to get past. Hmm. The rest of my guy is a little awkward. I mean, I guess I could have played uh, my Tail Jalad Fallen at some point. I see he's, uh, he's playing around uh, the back cleave goblin, which is uh, fair enough. Probably a good idea, otherwise I would have gotten. I'm just gonna keep on not letting him use his death mantle. Hmm, that's an interesting one. I'm going to play my fall in this time. It obviously cannot be equipped with my infiltration lens. But that's just fine. It's it's pretty threatening. Again, he's gonna need to leave some guys back, uh just to deal with that. Because three poison is a lot. And uh, obviously, if I uh, get a fifth land, it's going to be uh, really hard to block. I don't see him having anything that we'll be able to. A Mersmith. Mersmith is a pretty sweet guy. Or woman, as it as it probably should actually be. Still don't have a fifth land, which is a little bit clumsy. Uh, I can't really swing in because I can, I could withstand death to save my guy, but obviously he just. Uh, Gets this guy back for the death the the death mantle. I'll just play Tangle Angler and set up the blocking. As uh, I guess I would be more inclined to, to let him use his death mantle if I was about to draw a whole heap of cards from it. Of course, it was uh, still. If I get another land, a uh, he dies very quickly to these guys. He's beginning to clock me a little bit faster now. Uh, three turn is reasonably significant. But um, I'm pretty confident I can get something going here. Oh, a flesh allergy. That's pretty unfortunate. I really wish I'd drawn another land at some point. So I could have uh, saved my guy from his grisly fate. 